Greetings to everybody. Today's topic is sulfonamides. The things we are going to see in the topic sulfonamides are the history and development of chemotherapy, mode of action of sulfonamides, structural activity relationship of sulfonamides, classification of sulfonamides and their synthesis. Moving on to the topic, the first one is antibiotic. Antibiotic is just nothing, it is against life. The antibiotic are chemical substances which are derived from the other microorganisms which suppresses or destroy the microorganism in small concentrations. Thankfully, we have made many antibiotics that cure deadly diseases caused by bacteria such as pneumonia by pneumococcal pneumonia and tuberculosis by microbacterium tuberculosis. The meningitis is caused by both virus and bacteria. The most common type of bacterial meningitis is caused by the bacteria named Streptococcus pneumoniae. The antibiotics are otherwise called as chemotherapeutic agents because they are required in very small quantity for the prophylaxis or treatment. Now let us see what is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is the treatment of systemic disease with the required drug which has the capability to retard the multiplication or suppress their growth without affecting the host organisms. To be a drug considered as an antibiotic, there are six conditions to be satisfied. Let us see one by one. The first one is effective in low concentration. It should be a product of metabolism. There should be no toxic side effect for the antibiotic. Rate of detoxification and elimination should be maintained. It should be stable. It should be stable and it should be completely eliminated from the system after the withdrawal of drug. Now let us see the historical background of the chemotherapy. There are three phases in the history of chemotherapy. Empirical period, Eldritch period and modern phase. In 16th century, mercury was used for the treatment of the bacterial infection syphilis. It is a sexually transmitted disease. In 17th century, chinchona bark was used for the treatment of pyrexia. In the second phase, some dyes were produced which has toxicity and they killed microorganisms. In modern phase only, the sulfonamides was discovered. The sulfonamides has the antibacterial activity. You can see there is an benzene, sulfonamide and an amino group. So it is called para-amino-benzene sulfonamide. It is the first effective systemic chemotherapeutic agent. They are bacteriostatic with broad spectrum activity. They kill most of the gram positive and gram negative bacteria. The metabolic product of pontosil which is sulfanilamide was responsible for the antibacterial action. But soon after the discovery of penicillin and other antibiotics, the sulfonamide were diminished. Most of the antimicrobial compounds will have SO2 NH2 group in it. But other than that, some of the drugs which has SO2 NH2 groups are the first one is anti-diabetic drug tolbutamide has SO2 NH2 group in it. Then diuretics, loop diuretic fruzimide has the SO2 NH2 group and chlorothiazide also has that group. Then moving on to the mode of action. The sulfonamides are structurally similar to the para-aminobenzoic acid and they are the competitive antagonist of them. When bacteria enter our body, 
it takes up the para amino benzoic acid in the surroundings and it converts the product dihydroteroic acid the high dihydroteroic acid further converts into dihydrofolic acid then the dihydrofolic acid is converted into tetrahydrofolic acid by the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase when this happens the purines and pyrimidine nucleate or nucleotides are synthesized and the genetic material of the bacteria are built up and they go on replicating by inhibiting the first and foremost step as the sulfonamides are being competitive antagonist of para amino benzoic acid it goes and sits on the receptors of the particular area and it blocks the production of folic acid thus exhibiting the bacteriostatic activity then moving on to the structural activity relationship of the sulfonamides now the sulfur anilamide skeleton is the minimal structural requirement for the antibacterial activity the amino and sulfonyl groups on the benzene ring are essential and it should be in the positions 1 and 4 respectively the sulfur atom should be directly linked with the benzene ring now when replacement of benzene ring by other ring system has happened or if we introduce any additional substitution it abolishes the activity any other substitution in benzene ring produces the inactive compounds moving on to the classification of sulfonamides on the basis of chemistry there are three types of classification n substituted sulfonamide n4 substituted the sulfonamide both n1 and n4 substituted sulfonamides now moving on to the synthesis part first we can see the synthesis of sulfa acetamide the sulfa acetamide is otherwise known as it is marketed in the name of albucid it is an sulfonamide antibiotic which is used for the treatment of bacterial infections of eye now let us start with the synthesis the starting material for the synthesis of sulfonamide is 4 amino benzene sulfonamide by treating the 4 amino benzene sulfonamide with the acetic anhydride we lose an water molecule and we get an intermediate in that by treating the intermediate with water which means partially hydrolyzing the intermediate the acetic acid is removed from the intermediate and we get the product sulfa acetamide the next synthesis is sulfa methoxazole it is otherwise known as gantanol the starting material for the synthesis of sulfa methoxazole is n carbamic acid by decarboxylation of n carbamic acid we get an product 5 methyl isooxazole 3 amine by combining this product with poly amino benzene sulfonic acid we get the required product thanks for watching my video